Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall let us see some properties related to transpose of a matrix. So, let's look at the first property. If A is a matrix and if B is another matrix, then then if if we were to take A and transpose it and then transpose it, transport it again, transpose it again, the final matrix is going to be the, the matrix which we started with, the original matrix A. Let me explain this with an example. Let me take a simple example. If A is a matrix, uh, a 2 by 2 matrix, and the elements of those mat elements of that matrix are 1, 2, 3, and 4, like that. So, in here, what we are trying to say, what this property is telling us is, if we were to take an A matrix and then transpose it, we're going to write the, the rows as columns, right? And therefore, we can write this as 1, 2, 3, and 4. The transpose of A matrix is 1, 3, 2, 4, like that. And then, if we were to take this transpose matrix and then transpose it again, that means we're going to take the rows in here and then convert them into columns. And when we do that, it is going to be uh, 1, 3, 2, 4. And therefore, this matrix is what we started off with. This is the same as matrix A. So therefore, the property is true. Uh, this property is true. If if we were to take the take a matrix, transpose it, and then transpose it again, it comes back to the original matrix like that. Then the second property is again, if A and B are matrices, then let me write this here. If uh, I want to write like this. If A is a matrix and B is another matrix, then this property is telling us that if we were to combine matrix A and matrix B and then transpose it, it is the same as A transpose plus B transpose. Okay, so that is the property, and then let us see if we can uh, uh, if we can understand this with a simple example. Let me take an example here. Example: If A is a matrix which has elements one, two, three, four, like that, and if B is another matrix, and if B is another matrix which has elements 3, 4, 5, and 6, like that, then um, if we were to find the left-hand side, matrix A plus matrix B and transpose it, we, what do we get? This is what we get. Matrix A plus matrix B will be, will be as follows, isn't it? 1 plus 3, we're going to add the corresponding row column in, in matrix A and matrix B. First row, first column with first row, uh, first row, first column of the first matrix with the first row, first column of the second matrix, and then we'll repeat all the elements like that. 1 plus 3, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 5, and 4 plus 6. And when we simplify this, this is going to be 4, 6, 8, and 10. And now, the left-hand side is, we're going to transpose this. We're going to transpose that. We're going to take matrix A plus matrix B. We have already found that. And if we were to transpose it, we're going to take these rows and then convert, write them out as columns. And that is going to be 4, 6, 8, and 10, like that. Okay? Then, the second part is this part. The second part is we want to show that this one is equal to uh, 
uh, A transpose plus B transpose. So let's see. In here, we know A matrix A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, A transpose is going to be equal to, let me, let me write this. Let me write it all the way. A is the given matrix, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And therefore, from here, we can write A transpose as follows. We can, we're going to write the rows as columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Right? And then similarly, if B is a matrix which is given to us as 3, 4, 5, and 6, 3, 4, 5, and 6, like that, then the transpose of B is going to be, we're going to write the rows as columns, and that is going to be 3, 4, 5, and 6, like that. And now, um, this particular, th this particular um, uh, property is telling us that if we wait to, if we wait to add these two, we should be able to find our answer. So let me show show that in here. We're going to take A transpose and then add it to B transpose, and A transpose is. 1, 3, 2, 4, and B transpose is 3, 5, 4, and 6. And if we were to add them, we're going to add the corresponding row columns in matrix 1 and matrix 2. 1 plus 3, 3 plus 5, 2 plus 4, and 4 plus 6. As you can see here, this is going to be equal to 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then 2 plus 4 is 6, and then 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. And this is exactly what we had before. I'm going to put a, uh, a red box around this, indicating that that is what we have. And as you can see here, this is what we got. A plus B transpose was 4, 6, 4, 8, 6, and 10. This is same as what we have here. Therefore, we can come back here and say this property is true. This property is A transpose plus B, uh, A plus B, and the, and the sum of that, when we find the sum of that and then transpose it, that is the same as a transpose plus B transpose, like that, okay? So, that's the way to understand this type of uh, uh, transpose of a matrix, okay? So, the, the next property is about scalar multiplication. Let's say, if C is a constant, if C is a constant or a scalar quantity, if C is a constant and if A is a matrix then we can uh, if A is a matrix of size M by N then we can state this as follows the constant times the matrix and if we were to transpose that that is going to be the same as C times A transpose C times A transpose. What we have done here is, when the constant, when all the elements in the in a matrix have a common multiple, we can pull out that common and then write it out, write it outside of the matrix, and then just leave the the prime numbers inside prime numbers inside the matrix uh, of that particular uh, of, of that particular um, matrix. So. How do we explain this? Let's take a simple example. In this example, if C is a value negative 2, and if A 
is a matrix 1 2 3 4 like that then we can say that C times matrix A is going to be negative 2 times 1 2 3 4 which is going to be negative 2 negative 4 negative 6 and negative 8 okay and then C times A and then if we were to transpose this that is going to be negative 2 negative 4 negative 6 and negative 8 this is this is uh, this is what we have when we transpose that and then similarly here if we were to take matrix A and transpose it we have 1 3 2 and 4 like that and therefore negative 2 times the transpose of that matrix will be 1 3 2 4 and therefore when we multiply them uh, when we distribute the negative 2 out it's going to be negative 2 negative 6 negative 4 and negative 8 and this is exactly what we have here if I were to put a box around this this is what we're looking at this is what we have achieved therefore these two are exactly the same therefore we can come back and then say that C times a constant times a matrix and if we were to take the transpose of that it is the same as pulling out the constant term and then writing out the transpose inside the inside the brackets like that so this is the way we can apply or understand the properties of transpose and the, and then apply it to simple problems as shown here in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related related to transpose of a matrix